happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the C-Crane CC Radio 3. This is an AM, FM, weather alert, 2 meter band with Bluetooth portable radio. You can find this radio on C-Crane's website for $199.99, and when it's available on Amazon, I'll have the links for you down below. They currently sell the Model 2E, which is very similar without Bluetooth, for $169.99. Again, I'll have links down there for you. Um, but as far as this one goes, they've added the Bluetooth function, and we'll go through it. So here's the box. It's pretty snazzy. It went with a black and gold scheme. I like that. Here's uh, some bullet points there. They're big on the Bluetooth. It works really good on this radio. There you go. Superior AM performance. It's a pretty big box. All right, let me go ahead and just flip this over and show you the back side. And I'll show you what came inside, and then we'll go ahead and play with the radio here. Okay, so you can see some of the bullet points. We'll go over most of them. Pretty basic stuff there. They're kind of pointing out all the things there. And I'll give you some of the little hidden features it has, too. Yeah, a couple hidden features I didn't know about that. If you didn't read your manual, you never would have found them. I know I wouldn't have. So there we go. There's the box. Let's go ahead and show you what came in the box. So I'm going to lower this down a little bit, way up high. Okay, so first things first, they give us the AC cord. Very nice to have. Plugs right in the back of the radio. Don't need batteries, you're ready to go. But I do recommend having batteries so you can use this in an emergency. So there's our cord. Next we have the manual. Really nice manual. <laughs> I love how it's uh, written and laid out. Beautiful color photo on the front. I uh, was just going to just open this up, give you an idea what it looks like on the inside. There's your table of contents. Again, it's very simple, concise, very easy to understand. There's a lot of features on this radio, so take your time. I recommend going through this, spending the 15 minutes to read the manual, and you'll know about all the extra features. But if you don't have time, you can watch my video and get most of it out of there. But like setting the alarms, setting the timer, if you want to do some of that stuff, just read the manual because I'm probably not going to go over that in this video. We're going to go over the tuning and what this radio can do as far as hearing what's on the radio waves. <laughs> so here you go, talking about weather alert, we'll talk about that. And uh, yeah, so pretty simple setup, 2 meter band stuff, which is really cool on this radio. I love that the 2 meter is on this. Just looking for the specs now. Let's see what are the specifications. So here we go, they give you the frequency coverage. I'll just show you right there, 87.5 to 108 on uh, FM. AM is 520 to 1710. Um, ham radio, you can see it's uh, the 2 meter band, 144 to 148, and our weather band are 7 channels, and it shows you the fine tuning that the uh, main tuning knob has, power consumption, and there you go, and it's a little bit of weight, 3.8 pounds without battery, so it's not a lightweight, <laughs> not pocket carry, so there you go, there's the manual. Let's get to the radio, so bring the radio out front and center, here we go, and I'm going to take and use my deck of cards to prop this up and then we'll go over dimensions so we get this all into frame here i think i got it good okay so dimensions we have 11 and a half inches across so almost a foot across that includes the tuning knob on the side here we have a height of six and a half inches and we have a case depth of four inches i'd show it to you but it's rather difficult um it tapers in the back i'll, I'll be able to show it to you in a second and the batteries are in the bottom giving us our four inch dimension at the bottom so let's go ahead and do a little size comparison. I don't have other big radios to put next to it, so we're just going to put the little radios on it. So first first is CC Pocket. Yes, there you go. About the size of a deck of cards. That gives you an idea if it's right where the speaker is. <laughs> I love that. Here's next we have the CC Skywave. Yes, it's a promotion for C-Crane. <laughs> they have good products. But these are always on my desk, as you guys know, and I always use them. So yeah, they become my props and my frequency checkers. Though we don't need a frequency checker with this radio, no way. But uh, there you go. And then uh, let's go talk about features of the C-Crane CC Radio 3. What's different about it from the 2E? Pretty much this right here, Bluetooth. So let's go here on the left-hand side of the radio. It's all smooth plastic. It's got a gunmetal gray. It looks really nice, really attractive looking radio. Um, it's a premium item. Uh, I'm not going to disagree there. 200 bucks buys you a really nice radio, though. Uh, the C-Crane emblem. Up here we have an LED window. There's a red LED behind there. It flashes alerts. 
and it has a steady red LED in a certain uh, standby mode, which we'll go over. Here we have a large metal speaker grill with a 5-inch speaker behind there. The emblem, CC Radio 3, kind of like embossed. Over here we have a button that says light, and it actuates four different levels of brightness in a green light. So we have a bright. You can't really see that on camera. i got to kind of angle that so you can see the clock. If I turn it down one, you'll be able to see the clock. There's a medium. We have a low, low light, which is really nice. And then we turn it off. Now that light stays on for two minutes when you're on battery power. If you don't do anything as far as controls go, which is pretty neat. I like that. I'm going to run that while we do our review. Uh, when you're plugged in, though, if you turn the light on, it'll stay on all the time. And they say it's not a bad thing because it's rated for, I don't think, 100,000 hours, they said. So feel free to just leave that on. Let it run all the time. So we're going to I mean, actually just leave it on the medium setting. I like that. So up here we have the band information I gave you from the book. Here is our display window showing our clock. And, of course, when we turn the radio on, we'll have our frequency information and our preset information. Going to buttons, we have a few on the front. We have a clock set feature. And then we have wake to uh, radio and alarm. And over here we have a clock and frequency button. Very important button. <laughs> There's a little trick with this button. I'll tell you about that in a moment. This is mainly so you can see the clock while the radio is playing or vice versa. There's two ways to set that. Uh, here we have an alarm button, a timer button. If you notice the little uh, dot that says hold the set, so anytime you see a little dot on a word, that means you have to hold, hold that button to access that menu. Notice how there's no dot by this one here or the tuning. So it gives you an idea. It says right there on the radio. Uh, tuning up and down um, is really nice. You can also manually tune up and down. And you know you have your uh, up and down seek and time setting. Over here we have bass and treble control knobs. And of course twin coil ferrite, which makes this radio famous. There's a 200 millimeter ferrite antenna for AM. It's an awesome radio. It also auto tunes on the AM, which is fantastic during the daytime hours. Getting into medium, medium wave in the evening hours is a little trickier, but it works. Um, so yeah, you can read all that stuff there. Well, I just told you it was on the box. Pretty awesome. Let's go to the right-hand side of the radio. We have that tuning wheel, which is nice. You got the slow speed tuning. And of course, if you push this in, you have squelch. I think it says right there, two meter squelch set. I'll show you how to set that in a two meter band. Here we have a lockout switch. When you're carrying this radio, you can put the lock on. It's pretty handy if you're carrying this around. I don't think I will, but some people might. There is our volume control, our headphone jack. Now the headphone experience is really good. Um, headphone, you can expect uh, no hiss. I had no, it was great. Um, it's bass heavy radio, so this thing has a lot of bass. If you're into bass, you're gonna love it. I had to turn the bass all the way down. I actually had to like down to minimum. Um, yeah, that's the best setting for headphones. So a lot of bass on the headphones, though not as needed much on the speaker, but uh, with the headphones, yeah, tons. Okay, but it was uh, nice and pleasant to listen to. Top of the radio, go to more buttons. <laughs> There's radio has a lot of features. That away for a second. Okay, so over here we have a band select switch, AM, FM, and auxiliary in. Here we have the uh, switch for the Bluetooth mode, two meter band, weather, and then setting the alert. Notice it has that little dot by it. You press and hold that for the alert mode. And of course it says station recall, press and hold to memorize. These are five preset keys. You get five presets on FM, five on AM, five on the two meter hand band and five on the weather band. So pretty simple, you get 20 in total. Uh, you'll notice that above those, you'll have little functions for the Bluetooth. We have a pair feature. We have back, forward, and pause, play. Over here, we have power and sleep function on that button. And up here, we have our antenna, which is really cool. Um, this extends out to a whopping 23 inches and has a little swivel on the end. I'll just show it to you real quick. So this can pivot 360 degrees. There you go. And a true 360, because it's going to lay flat all the way around. So that's a really nice setup. So i got to push it back in so we can see the back of the radio. And then we'll talk about FM reception and turn this guy on. I want to hear it. So flip it around. On the back side here, we have a vented case. And notice a big handle. That's great. Nice well for that. Um, here we have a battery compartment that holds four D-cell batteries. Here we have our AC input for that cord I showed you. Or my thumbs covering have external AM antenna connections. And over here we have three ports. We have an auxiliary in. We have a timer switch feature. So if you're using a recorder that uses that feature, you can use that to operate the radio. And over here we have a line out jack. Very nice. All right, let me spin this back around. Lay it back down. And then we'll turn this on in a second. I do you want to talk about FM? 
using that deck of cards to prop my radio up. Works out pretty good. Okay, so yeah, a lot to go over there. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the uh, FM reception. Um, on the 2E, I don't know if it was as good as this radio, but when I was doing FM on the C Cranes, uh, the CC Radio 3 here, just amazing. I found 90 stations. So that put it in the excellent category. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, this radio is amazing. I have the Sanjin PRD15 in that category, the Eaton Field in that category, um, and that new, uh, new San, Sanjin PRD12 is uh, in that category, in the excellent category. So this is right up there with them. I was very impressed. I didn't expect much um, because the 2E wasn't as good. Um, I think this one edges out, or maybe it was just a lucky day. There was no tropospheric ducting, but uh, I was definitely getting all those stations, and nice and clear and legible. Uh, FM selectivity gets a very good excellent because just one station had bleed over, and that's my local station, which is like five miles away from me, and that causes that problem regardless. But overall, amazing radio for FM. You will love it. So let's go ahead, and we're going to turn it on, and we're listening to some Radio Totterbert through the Bluetooth. <laughs> So what it is, I have an MP3 player, Bluetooth enabled, and that will allow us to listen to some music, kind of give you an idea what the speaker sounds like. I'll play with the bass in trouble. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. Power switch here. There's it's looking for the device. Found the device. Now it's ready. Now those buttons up here, there was the pause play, forward, and then back. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the pause. I'm going to hit the actually next track. Or play. Seven, six, five, there four, we go. three, two, one. Two. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> Runs for a few minutes. the sound <laughs> that bass on there was so low i felt like air venting out the back <laughs> that was awesome i'm gonna go ahead and pause that all right so there you go you got a little idea for the sound just amazing the bass trouble was showing you know, like back and forth i love it um use this quite often you'll be using those knobs just amazing setup so let's go ahead and uh let's we're gonna go to the weather band i'm gonna go ahead and pull the antenna out and bring this up and i'm gonna show you what kind of reception i can get 
I can get six of the seven channels when I'm upstairs. I'm not sure what I can get down here. I was pretty amazed by that. Cool thing is I can lay this radio down with this antenna extended up, which is really nice. So to get to the uh, other band, what you do is you hold that uh, that button that said weather two meters. So we're going to go to uh, weather band, show you that. Illinois and northerly island to Calumet Harbor, Illinois. Small craft. So you can tune this by the buttons, seven channels. Airport and 39. Turn the knob. Precipitation 30%. Tuesday, partly sunny. At McKinley Marina, the air temperature was 37. The west and south suburbs and northwest. Rockford Airport. The temperature was 35 degrees, 5 nautical miles ashore on Lake Michigan. West wind to so you get the idea. You got five channels. And Burns Harbor to Michigan City, Indiana. So you find the station strongest to you and closest to you. Uh, and then that's uh, how you set your weather alert. And this is pretty simple. I'll show this to you. Uh, on that same button, that big button up here, uh, what you do is you press and hold it. The cool thing is you could be listening to the radio while you do this. Wednesday, West Wednesday. Uh, you'll notice there's an alert with a little light bulb icon. So when the alert comes through uh, from NOAA weather, you know, the little alert tones, uh, this will start flashing, this LED. Um, if the radio is off, this will just be uh, flashing. There will be no siren. The radio won't turn on. This light will just flash, letting you know that there's an alert going on. So if you have it within eye shot, um, that's not a bad thing if you don't want to be interrupted. But pretty much you probably want to use the one with the siren mode. But let me go ahead and show you the next mode. So there's three modes. The second one, press and hold this again to get it. You'll see a little speaker icon. And that is, uh, this will flash, uh, LED, LED will flash red, and it'll turn the radio on once uh, it gets the alert. So that'll be flashing, and then the, the weather station will come on. Now, if you're on AM or FM or something else, it'll automatically switch over to the weather band for you so you can hear what's transpiring. That's probably the best setting. But if you're on the other side of the house and you need an alarm, no press and hold this again to get to the third mode. And now you can notice the red LED is on all the time. When it goes off, there'll be a siren. And a siren will go off until you come to the radio to turn off the siren to hear what's going on. At 10 p.m. at Chicago O'Hare, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 36 degrees. The point was 32. So I'll leave the alert on so you can see that we can cruise through the AM band and everything with that alert activated. 13 miles an hour. So next let's go to the 2 meter. So let's tap that button. Bluetooth. There's our 2 meter band. Now of course 2 meter has uh, static. You can null that by pushing in the tuning knob over here. Push this in. You'll get your squelch menu. Now you tune this up so you don't hear the static. On one, you might still hear it. For me, it's two. And then we'll push that back in. And now you can see you have your two meter ham. And it tunes between that 144 and 148. You can press and hold this. And it'll automatically seek. But it's very slow. Uh, if you need to get some more fast, you can press and hold it. I believe it goes quicker. There you go. So you can get up to where you need to be. Um, I have five channels that I saved that are like main repeaters. And what you can do is... Um, you can stop this. You can also manually tune this with the knob, or like you use those presets up here on top. These are all my local repeaters. The neat thing about these is that uh, you can cycle these by hitting these two buttons. So if you hold these two buttons, the up and down tuning buttons at the same time, it'll go into a scanning phase. So if you got bad weather and you already know what's coming and you want to hear what the, the two meter guys are doing on the emergency channels, you can scan those repeater networks that you have set in your radio, and it'll pop up and it'll stop when it finds a transmission. I think that's really cool that it has a scanner feature like this. So very, very cool. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. All right, so that's the two meter in a nutshell. Pretty basic, nice to have on the radio. Pretty happy. Okay, plus you have the alert going at the same time you're doing that. Okay, so let's go switch to the AM band. Where all the fun's at. Okay, well, here we are on the FM band. <laughs> FM's really simple. Um, you have your basic tuning. You can see it tunes in 50 kilohertz steps on the knob and turn and it does the normal 100 kilohertz steps with the buttons. 
Let's see if I can pick up my uh, local news. Great savings and an unforgettable vacation. Visit LL.com today. Stereo indicator. AL.com. A sleep divorce happens when bed partners sleep in different rooms because one of them has a snoring problem. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, but it is unfortunate. Okay, so let's go to the AMB and let me put this antenna down. Because that's where all the fun's at. We're going to talk about different reception. It's amazing. I'm downstairs here, and that news station is very difficult to get usually. And with this, this radio, it's pulling it in no problem. That retracts really nice. I like that. It's going to stay down there. Hi, Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so as you notice, you have a single strength indicator here on the right-hand side. Uh, nice to have that. It gives you an idea of what's going on. It'll flash with the auto-tuning, which you're going to see right now. I'm going to press this button again. Go to AM band. Okay, a little noise. I think it's uh, the MP3 player. Let me unplug that. There we go. Uh, this is CHLO, Brampton, Ontario, which is 441 miles, 250 watts. A lot of people like me to tune the station in because they find that's a good uh, benchmark signal. Now I'm going to do some daytime, of course, evening medium wave band scans. You can count on it. This radio is amazing. Um, we're going to get a couple neat signals here. This might be uh, Canada. Yeah, so it's mixing. We're getting CBK, which is a uh, thousand miles away, and then we're getting a local station uh, out of many, uh, Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin. Keep going. Follow her, Jesse Jane Duff, on Twitter, and also she's on the advisory board, Women for Trump. Welcome back. Okay, so if you watch this radio, you'll notice that it's always on frequency, which is nice. If you want to see your clock, you just hit this. Right now it's 10.23 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. I'd like to say that before I start my band scans. Um, it's nice. It'll go back to frequency. If your radio, they ship this way, um, is showing you the clock and you want to see the frequency all the time, like here right now, which flash back to the clock, um, it's very annoying. What you do is you press the clock frequency button and the number one key. Let me show you how that works. So I'm going to turn this up so you can hear the little beep. So now the clock will always show. And if you want to see the frequency, you got to hit the button. And after a short amount of time, it'll go back to the clock. Now, some people might want that, but most people want the frequency. I'm like most people who want the frequency. So we're going to hit this button again. Press 1. And now we're always on frequency. So a little tidbit to know. Yeah, that's a hidden feature. The scanning, I showed you that with the 2-meter band with those two buttons. This clock frequency with the number 1 button. Preset button gives you that uh, ability to change the clock frequency display as dis default, which is nice. This is WIND Chicago. They never wanted to come... Keep rolling. With limited capabilities, they quickly ran into problems. Auto they realized that they had a model. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. There's a um, funny story. 570 WNEX, Yankton, South Dakota, 460 miles, 5,000 watts. Um, to buy main potatoes. And lo and behold, if your wife is listening. Oh, funny. I think this is KCSP, Kansas City, Missouri, 400 miles, 5,000 watts. No, I think you weren't paying attention because you were looking at your waypoint. Yeah, you, that you can use. Are you allowed to go anywhere, or do you have to go to... Okay, usually this is country music, but uh, right now we're hearing uh, St. Louis, which is KYFI. Uh, which is 275 miles, 5,000 watts. There you keep going for Rutledge right there. Big hand. Yeah. So my name is uh, Henry Cho. I'm a full-blooded crew. Sounds really good. This is WS, uh, WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. So I'm South Korean. 
Santa can do that joke. There you go. Born and raised in Austin, we were the only Asian people back then. I was the only Asian kid from pre-K until I graduated high school. So I had no idea I was supposed to be smart. When caught early, it can be treated, but all treatment options can have side effects. 660 WFAN, New York, New York, 750 miles. However, space or hydrogel can help minimize your risk. Tune off a little bit, one kilohertz. So one kilohertz stepping on the tuning wheel. That's spaceor.com. Because frankly, I would have thought they had written him off at the end of the season as just being too expensive. Now, here's something else. This here's uh, the score to be a CR Chicago. This is what uh, Major League Trader. <laughs> So you have to wait, you know, as the signal's coming in and out. Uh, 700 WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. I'm just going to go up the band real quick here and spot some uh, further stations I like to listen to. Okay, 740 here is Zoomer Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. I always like listening to that. This is WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Coming in kind of weak. It was coming in stronger earlier. Trey Jones flips in and out of Jack White, who got south. WGR, Detroit, Michigan. Schedule your consultation today in Garden City, Lancaster, New York. Call 516-794-04. This is 770 WABC, New York, New York, 750 miles. Little interference. Tune back. Sometimes this helps. And if you missed any of the show, find the podcast at wabcradio.com. There's your call letters. Cool. Okay, we'll keep going. Good evening. I'm Bob. Let's see what else we got up the band. Oh, yeah, my usuals. You just resigned Adrianza. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 300 miles. Your news, however, should be served up fresh. Oh, thanks. Every time you hear it. Mm. Love it. And that's what we do. We're going to get all the facts. WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, 300 miles. 24-7. All the news. Because I know a lot of people are at... <laughs> you won't give this call letters. We have been a that at times we're the ones... Eight fifty KOA Denver. This one here is eight hundred ninety miles. CGBC Toronto Ontario. And we'll just go to the top of the band here, cause yeah, you guys are gonna see a full band scan. So let's just show you how this tunes. You can press and hold this, and you can go really quickly to the top of the band, which is nice. Would take a lot longer with the tuning knob. Listen and subscribe to this free wherever you get your podcasts from the Westwood One Podcast Network. KXCL, Waterloo, Iowa. We're going to get 1610, show you the top of the band. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. To the top here, 1700. Point eight left. No one's going to do anything. All they have to do is touch the ball, and the clock's going to end. And that'll be that. Coming nice and strong. KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, about 280 miles. And of course, we have Texas underneath there, about 800 miles away. With the Hispanic music. Sports Flash. I've got this report in a sponsor. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn this off. We'll do some final thoughts. Now, there's your battery life indicator. When you turn the radio off, it always shows the full bars for full charge. And of course, as those bars go down, your batteries are going, your battery life is going down. So that's the battery life indicator when you turn it off. Of course, we can turn this LED off. There we are. Okay, so final thoughts on the CC Radio 3. Is it worth 200 bucks? 
Well, if all you need it for is AM and FM listening, you might want to get the 2E because I didn't really notice a huge difference. Maybe a little edge on the FM. I don't know if they changed anything on the FM. I'm guessing they didn't do a ton on that because, you know, you don't want to ruin a good thing because this thing works really well. But uh, go with the 2E. But if you want everything and you want to have Bluetooth too, because Bluetooth is handy. Everybody has phones or MP3 players that have Bluetooth on them and want to listen to their music. It sounds fantastic on the speaker. By all means, go with the Bluetooth model, spend the extra 30 bucks. It is worth it. This radio, as a complete package, is, is amazing. I love how there's so many features, and it's done so nicely. It's not overdone. There's not, like, weird combinations you have to hit. Just those few little secret things, like with clock and number one, and, of course, holding those two buttons on the two-meter band, giving you the scan feature. Overall, this radio gets recommended by, especially for medium-wave hunters like myself, especially during the day, this thing is just, like, um, just an absolute beast on the medium wave. The auto tuning is, is perfect for that situation. Uh, and that's usually what I listen to most during the day. And of course, evening coast to coast, you find a nice strong station and this will lock in with the auto tuning as it fades and comes back in. It's constantly checking for the best signal, which is amazing. All right, guys. Well, there it is. If you enjoyed the video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Two, um, if you like C Crane products and CC Radio 3, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get future notifications of this radio in use because I'm going to do those two band scans for you. And three, of course, comment below what you think about this CC Radio 3. Is it for you or would you rather get the TUI model or one of the originals? Um, they're all out there. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.